In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the heat load calculation and present the results. The heat load calculation is under the menu tools and then we select heat load calculation. In a gear in the top right, we can define the norm that will be used for the calculation. Okay. In the top left, we have the level structure. By having the site selected in the design criteria, we can define the external design temperature and the annual mean external temperature. The parameters that we manually edited are highlighted in beige. Okay. Um, under the site, we have the building. In the design, cri design criteria, we can have the tab building where we have properties for heating and also the ventilation. So you could define the shielding, the air tightness and air permeability. In the tab building entity, we could uh, activate a passive preheating. And in the room tab, we can edit parameters that will influence all the rooms that belong to this building. For instance, if I insert um, 22 degrees, we see that they are directly applied for all the rooms that belong to this building. Okay. Um, below the building, we see here undefined that would display the rooms that do not belong to any zone. As I have defined the zone, zone for heat load, it displays all the rooms here below in the content for select a level structure, the rooms that belong to this zone. If I click on the plus sign, we also can directly see the information for each room individually. Okay. Now let's calculate and um, if I select a room, we can also check the components that belong to this room. Okay. All these columns can be turned on and off. If I move my cursor uh, to, the, to the head of the columns, I right mouse click and see all the columns that are active. Okay. The same if we come to the zone and I come to rooms, right mouse click the head of the columns and we can activate other columns or deactivate them as well. Let's come to this office. Two. In the results, we see directly the total uh, designed heat load okay, for each room. In the level of the zone and in the building as well. All the rooms of this building belong to this zone. Okay? All right, so to, we can also generate reports. So here I will click on the design heat load and I can activate these parameters below for the reports. Uh, we go to the next page to see all the pages that we have available. Okay. This report can be exported to PDF, can be printed, can be exported to Excel and other formats from here. Okay, there, there is another type of report for heat, heat loss building components, and we could also see the U values for, for the components, okay, and so on. Now, there is another way to display the, the results in a model. We can make use of the text all rooms, okay. We have a preset room number, description, area, temperature, and heat load. Okay, so we'll use this one. So we can directly see here the designed heat load and the temperature. Else, we can see the results in 3D. So I can activate any render and by using the visualization filter, I can activate the specific room heat load. 
So we can see the levels of the heat load for negative heat load, heat load set to zero, lowest heat load, and heat load above max. And we can make use of transparency 